I've just landed yesterday from Melbourne, Australia, so I'm pretty excited to be here. The stadium is something like I've never seen before. I've done a lot of studying, but you know, obviously this is something that I, I will have to work on because it's played a little differently back home with the Aussie Rules Football AFL. But cheerleading is my dream and it's what I've always wanted to do. I am sacrificing a lot to be in Dallas and fulfill my dream of becoming a Dallas Cowboys cheerleader. I've been a professional cheerleader for the past seven years. I've left my family and my friends and the team that I cheerlead with. I worked and I saved everything I had to be able to be here. I still have to pinch myself that I'm here because there are no words for how I feel right now. Thank you. Ladies, thank you all thank so you. much. Thank you. Thank you. I love her personality. She looks pretty on the board. She's prettier than I thought. Somehow, Janelle appeared better on the HD. It might be that it adds weight. The board just changed her to me. Now we're gonna do the kick line as well. I'm a little nervous. I've got Kelsey next to me, who's an absolute powerhouse, and she's got great high kicks and a big smile. Welcome to training camp. Number 39, Janelle Esther. I'm going to training camp. I don't have any words. That part of the bras was to sit on the stern. I'm not three inches yeah. below. I don't normally expose so much cleavage. Janelle, are you a C cup or D? Go on. seen a cheerleader that's as lean that has these voluptuous double D boobs. I felt comfortable with her. She's also a busty lady so we got to talk about our breasts being you know on the larger scale of life. They're really up there aren't they? <laughs> I'm moving in with Janelle, who I've known for a month, but feels like I've known for years now. So we're here today at our new apartment. I'm really relieved to, to be here and to have Paige. You know, she's a great girl. We have a lot of fun together. Moving into a new apartment that I just found after living out of my car for about a week and a half. We have a home to call a home. I know, it's so nice. And when you get to live with somebody who's also going through the same thing as you and we can share everything and it's nice because neither of us have our families here. Welcome to Melbourne. The toughest part of all of this has been that I'm away from my family. <laughs> and that I'm away from all my friends and I've got my boyfriend at home of five years. Show me the hat. Yay! So at home I live with my mum and dad and my older brother, my younger brother and younger sister, so there's four of us all together. And I've got my grandmother at home, she's 99, she's going to be 100 next week. How old are you turning? I'm trying to handle the pressure of, of training camp as best I can. It's tough. I think you're real spunky, so you're fun to watch because you're spunky. We wrote willowy, gangly. This is a crazy adventure. It's a day by day basis here, so neither of us know if you know we're gonna make it to the end of training camp. It's tough because we're in limbo and that really scares both of us. Hi. Hi. Hi Janelle. Hi. How are you? Good, thank you. How Nervous? Are you? No, excited. <laughs> Janelle's look had such diverse opinions from our judges, and that is a makeover needing to happen. She has a longer face, so what, I'm, what I would think is taking quite a bit of length off, and we're going to bring it up. It'll shorten it up a little bit to where it, the attention's not all right here. When uh, the stylist told me that she wanted me to have a short bob, I got a little bit of a fright. See, with this length right here, I think we all were a little taken back. She was clearly getting nervous, and I was getting nervous for her. It just wasn't totally feeling right. Is there anybody on your team that would debate this? Anyone would debate this? First of all, I don't think that just because you can do short hair, you should do short hair today, okay? She has amazing texture. Can I touch your hair? Yes, please. Okay. She has amazing texture if you don't layer it. 
we could be right here. It's enough change, but it's not gonna take that romantic sexiness out of her look. So, Love you. <laughs> give her short pieces here. Give Derek her of... jumped in to save the day and save some of my hair from becoming a really short bob, so I really like Derek a lot right now. Let's let's get her an IV. <laughs> and then get her in color. <laughs> Janelle needs a good makeover to make this team. This is critical for her. Here we go. Oh my gosh. He cut 10 inches off. I was very brave. And then he opened up right here. I like that. See, I like so that. Kind of... Yeah, and you need to learn how to do that. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. So. I love my new look. At first, I was a little overwhelmed. It's going to be tricky for me to replicate the exact thing at home, but hopefully with a bit of practice, I'll get there. <laughs> I like this. I think this is the right decision. Okay. I think this makeover has helped Janelle's chances of making this team, and now I want to see her dance. Good job. Thank you. Janelle's lost. Learning the sequence is actually quite challenging for me. Did y'all not do any of this kind of movement across the field? Yeah. How did y'all dance? How did you get out there? Running, cheering on. The training camp candidates on this first night are, are, are falling apart. Janelle and Caitlin, y'all need to know how to start it. I'm making a few little mistakes and uh, Kelly and Judy are telling me, you know, maybe I stuffed up the start of the dance. We're really close to crossing the finish line and that, that adds an enormous amount of pressure. You need to know your beginnings. Okay, ready? having a good time out there. That was just really bad. Janelle and Caitlin were fighting, but I don't know who was wrong and who was right. You start rushing and you made lots of mistakes towards the end, but at the beginning, you two were kind of doing different things and I think y'all were taking turns on who was doing it right. Now it's time to talk about what we see. We're out of time. I see 12 rookies that are working really hard and wanting to make this team. I see 27 veterans that are helping us lead this machine. I see 39 people that have a lot to learn. I also see 39 people that I think are worth our efforts. We see our new team. It's fun to be a part of a very exciting life moment. And that's exactly what this is. <laughs> it's excitement at its best. DCC! DCC! Yes, I said DCC. You have something to see. Go find your locker. feels pretty perfect to me. Custom made for every inch and centimeter on my body. Everything is on the line for all of us. You're wearing that uniform, you gotta own it. And if you don't, then someone else will own it better than you. And that's never a good feeling. Woo, first, first game, game. Yeah. we can't wait. I'm up there. <laughs> wow. This is 
go time. This is the moment that makes dreams come true. to get here started a really long time ago and I arrived yesterday from Melbourne, Australia. I left everything there. I left my family and my friends and I sacrificed a lot to get here. It was really hard to make the decision to leave but from that first day in May I felt like I was in the right place for the first time in my life. Welcome to the Glass Cactus here at the Gaylord Texan. Tonight is our sugar audition. Janelle's lost me. Shelby's lost. Lost! Good job, ladies. This was very interesting and entertaining. We will announce who made it to show group tomorrow at rehearsals at Valley Ranch. Is Janelle still in your life? Yes. Not yes. for me. Janelle was really strong last year, not this year. If you're talking full package, I'd put her on there. I am beyond nervous, having done a year of show group before. You know, it's something that is so important to me and I just, oh, my heart's just racing. Janelle. Being an international candidate, currently I'm at the end of my three year period with my visa and I'm in the process of renewing it after finals. The plan is to get on the plane that leaves that night and fly to Melbourne, process a visa, come back, hopefully in time for training camp. I feel like my time's not up here yet. This room represents 21 states and two foreign countries being in Japan and Australia. Unfortunately, Janelle's not with us tonight. Janelle is in Australia. I have to go hop on a plane now, uh, turn my passport and visa into the embassy, hopefully make it back in time for training camp. Fingers crossed. And while there, she went up hospitalized with some internal things. So Janelle is supposed to be back next week. We'll have to be patient. You're back. Oh my gosh, look at your little arm. When I saw Janelle, I was excited. She actually got back earlier than we expected. Well, you guys didn't get to meet Janelle the other night. Well, Janelle, tell us where you've been. So what happened was I landed in Australia. I went straight to the embassy as planned and that went absolutely perfect. And as soon as I got home, I got a really, really severe pain. I felt like someone shot me in the gut. I was rushed to emergency. It turns out I had a really big cyst and it burst. And so I suffered from severe internal bleeding. It was really scary. I was like, please don't have to cut me open because I have to be back for training camp. <laughs> As soon as I got cleared to fly, I was on the next flight out. I hate not being able to dance, but I'm just really glad to be back. Janelle's passion, her dedication is the exact example we want as a Dallas Cowboys cheerleader. I want you to be able to talk to somebody about this visa stress that I can't really relate to. So I have brought with me somebody that you know very well, somebody that has had to get a visa herself and dealt with the stress. <laughs> Yuko's in my group with Jenna, so I think that it's, you know, it's my responsibility just to really be there for her. And more than that, I really want to be there for her because I want Yuko to make this team. She's amazing. I know there's obviously very different communication barriers that you experience that I didn't experience, but in terms of moving to another country and not knowing anyone, not having your family or your friends, like I know exactly how you feel. And I can tell you that once you get past this huge hurdle, it gets better. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity. And I want, if, if this is something that you still really want, I wanna help you bring, bring that sparkle back out and, and make this team, because I think you're really, really close. Now let's forget about everything else that is stressing us out and let's go dance and let's have fun. Know who this Yuko is, honestly. Like, we were just crying and having this moment in the kitchen, and now she is rocking it. Her friend. And if 
she does what she did today, there's no way Kelly and Judy can cut her. I'm pretty nervous because about a month ago I had a medical procedure and I haven't been able to rehearse the jump splits, but I'm going to give them everything I have. After, I just had terrible pains and I kind of blacked out a little bit, but it's hard to like pull it together and get through the pain, but I really want to stay in J Group. I just, I love it so much. I uh, really like Janelle. She's got a lot of great energy, very fierce up there, and I think that, that was very impressive. I didn't like her tonight. Uh, I don't think Janelle had her best day, but I, she's, I know she's been sick. She's definitely a show group to me. Tonight, we're excited to announce our show group for this year. The last 24 hours, I've literally chewed off all my nails. All I thought about was how much this experience means to me. Madeline. Yeah. Melissa. Janelle. Going into my third year of show group, it feels amazing. I'm so excited and I'm so grateful for this opportunity again. This is your 2016 show group. Today is game day and it is going to be a long and challenging and eventful day. I need everyone to listen. Our first performance is actually going to be a festival performance. It's at the Fun Fest, which is on the campus of the Hall of Fame. And it'll be for fans, where fans are up close and personal. Hi, girls. Hi. This is the first performance for this group of veterans for this season. So that in itself makes it exciting. Ladies and gentlemen, America's sweethearts, the Hall to Entertainment never equals it's two brand new leaders for this game. Janelle's never led a game. Lacey's never led a game. We have a lot of high expectations with today, you know, it being the Hall of Fame game and the first game of this veteran season. So there's a lot of high stress. Ladies, here we go! So far, so good. Circles, that's a heads up for the kick line. Perfect. This is a good example as to why we pick the best trained dancers for moments like this when we have to make on the fly changes and be game ready. Remember, the players are lined up down the 40s. Now we're getting a lot of last minute information. Wait for our cue to move to coin toss. It's a bit stressful going on the fly. Jacket number seven, Mr. Jerry Jones. You gotta be on top of everything. Yeah. So you got a new DJ, you probably have 100 new songs today. I told him we dance to every musical element. Here we go, game music. Yeah, stand by. Is that enough for y'all? I'm always a little nervous on live performances. I mean, you get one chance to do it right. I hope that the girls will give it their best performance today, not only for us, but for Jerry Jones and his family. I'm in the tunnel. I've got butterflies in my stomach. I look around. All the other vets have got the jitters as well. As a team, we put a lot of pressure on ourselves to be the best we can be. Getting to dance 
our signature routine tonight. I struggle to find words because, you know, that is something that I've dreamt of since I was a little girl. I literally have goosebumps all over me. I mean, this game's going down in history. We all got into our line ready to welcome out the Hall of Fame guests and Mr Jones came over to me and you know I could tell that he was proud of us and he was happy that we were here but I mean we're all here for him so that honour goes both ways. Okay y'all get a quick drink and then we're going to do some songs you don't know. Just game improv. On game day as soon as the song is played as a leader you have about three, maximum five seconds to know what to do with that song. And tonight, the veterans are definitely being tested for that. You know, my heart's kind of racing as a first leader because I want to show them I'm ready for this responsibility. Gina looks good. Where's Savannah? She's just a little behind. Y'all, that was another bad ending. And five, six, seven, go! And that's exactly what I wanted to see who did. I'm going to call Janelle in to the office to discuss her decisions about re-auditioning or retiring. Well, welcome to the office. Thanks, guys. So where have you wound up with your decision to retire or try out? I feel like I could do this forever, but there has to come a time where you pass the boots on. God, this is like so hard. If I think about doing my last ever performance or my last ever anything in the uniform, I just like, I can't even go there. Your boots will be hard to fill. Thanks. You've never given less than 100% in any capacity. You've been kids' favorites, fan favorites, one of our favorites. You just draw people in. Not everyone has that gift. I don't, you'll, you're legendary. You can't say that now. You know, I came to a decision and then my world was flipped upside down. I honestly didn't expect Kelly and Judy to give me hints to reconsider. Can you be happy out of a uniform? <laughs> I have not yet 100% committed to retiring. I can't imagine my life without this team, so that decision of not coming back is going to be one of the hardest things I'll ever have to choose. Today, I've thought about this so much. I've gone back and forth in my head. It's, I think it's a decision I'm never really going to come to peace with, but I've, I've decided that today is going to be my last performance. I'm going to take everything that I've learned in this experience and it's going to be a part of me forever. Y'all, let's gather before we go. Today is very special for everybody in this room because it's our last performance for this team. For seven of you, it's your last performance ever as a Dallas Cowboys cheerleader. So make it your best and soak it up. Congratulations to making it to today. For the girls leaving. We've been through a lot of ups and downs this year. We have a lot of leadership that's leaving, and that's always hard for me to see go. Not many people in the world get to experience this feeling of achieving their dreams. moment it kind of all hit me that I'm not going to get to do that again with my teammates and it's it's really sad. Did your feet hurt? <laughs> Draft day done. Just having the realization that I'm going to have to give the uniform back and the boots and the palms and everything that goes with it. It's kind of a little bit heartbreaking. I have so much of my heart and soul in this, and I'm so invested, and I, I love it so much. But this is my time. It's been just a 
couple of days since we announced the final team of 36, and now something's come up. Yuko has been in a small car accident. She has a concussion, and Janelle is filling in in uniform in the final hour. I am concerned that she's comfortable with these formations. It's nowhere near where she stood in the past five years, so this is all new for her also. One foot in front of the other. Yes, we're ready. A lot of pressure on me jumping straight back in but I am on absolute cloud nine getting to come out here and dance today. It feels so natural being out on the field with these girls. You know, I thought I was retired and it was the hardest decision of my life, but they called me 48 hours ago to jump in and fill those shoes for pre-game routine and I did it and I felt really, really good about it and it was just such an honour and such a pleasure getting to dance out there with this amazing new team.